Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the simple search bar using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo, a search bar with the rounded search button. For code, you can visit my CodePen profile. I'll drop the link to the code below this video. Feel free to visit my CodePen profile. CodePen is an online editor, where we can edit our HTML pages and preview the result instantly. We can save our projects in it. Let's get started with HTML structure. First, create the wrapper div element. Inside that consider a container div element with input field having input class. Now add the text to the placeholders. The text we see in the input fields, is the text we added in the input placeholders. And create the button using the input field. By changing the type value to the button and set the content to the value. And add the close button class to it. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. For this demo, I'm using Roboto font family. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Set the Roboto font family and background color to the body. Now style the container by setting its position value to the relative, so that we can place its child elements accordingly. And set the padding values. For placing any HTML element in the center, one of the easiest ways is to make the element's position value absolute and its parent value to a relative. Now set the top and left properties values to 50%. But we can see that element is not exactly placed in the center. Now use translate method of the transform property to place the element exactly in the middle by setting translate x and translate e values to negative minus 50%. Now let's style the input field using the input class, by setting the width, 3 pixels of the solid white border, and make the input field's background color to transparent. Set the padding values and use the border radius to create the round corners. Change the color and increase the font size. To remove the blue outline around the input field, set the outline value to none. Now style the placeholder content, by changing the color and text to uppercase and setting the font family.
Here WebKit is used for the Google Chrome. Moz is used for the Firefox and MS is used for the Internet Explorer. Finally, style the close button, by setting its position value to absolute, which is relative to the container development. Using the top and right properties place the button accordingly. Set the width, height, and background color. and change the color and set the border value to zero. Round the corners using the border radius. Here outline is used to remove the blue outline. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section. See you in another video.